Hey, what is up guys? This is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a typewriter effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So first you need to write a text, right? So here in Premiere Pro, select the type tool, then write whatever you want. I am writing James Prince, that is my name. Then you can select a color. I'm selecting white color, then click OK. You can center the text using these two button, which is vertical center and horizontal center. Now you can make the duration of your text layer shorter or longer. So I'm just making it maybe three seconds or four seconds. Okay, four seconds is a perfect number. I'm just trimming it. Now you have to apply crop effect on top of your text layer. Go to effects panel. If you don't see, go to windows and enable effects panel. Then search for crop. Click and drag this crop effect on top of your text layer, release it. Then get back to effects control panel. If you don't see, go to window, then enable effects control. Then scroll down and you will see crop effect. So we need to animate the crop effect property. Now go to the beginning of your text layer. Then under crop, you have to enable toggle animation for right crop property. Click here, then go few frames. And again, you can make a keyframe here. Then get back to first keyframe. Then you can increase the right crop properties just like that. And now if I just play it back, here is the typewriter effect. So if you found that duration of the typewriter effect is little bit fast, then you can just increase the duration just by dragging this keyframe over to the right. Now if I just play it back, it is playing smoothly. You can also right click here and make this keyframe is out and right click on this right keyframe and you can make it is in then if i just play it back it is playing very smoothly so now for the ending you need to make a keyframe again i am just making a keyframe here just click on this add or remove keyframe then again go here then increase the right crop property and drag this keyframe at the end if i just play it back you can see the text is deleting so here is our final effect to spice it up you can add a sound effect just drag it here, then trim the sound effect, so if I just play it back, that is our final effect. So that's all for today, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video or learned something new from this one, then you can give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, want to learn Adobe Premiere Pro or video editing, then you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.